Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and this reading is going to be for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you Capricorn. In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you. Their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit, and any other messages that you may need. Your future love, next year to six months, okay? And your advice. So do check it out. I'll be linking it below for you guys. What do we have for Capricorn, please? What do we have? For Capricorn, please. Get my shuffling again, okay. <clears throat> We have the King of Wands here, Capricorn, followed by the Two of Pentacles. Um, for the most part, I see you taking that bold action towards something. I see you pursuing something, going after something. But at the same time, I feel like there is a choice that has to be made here. Yikes. Three of Swords, heartbreak. I feel like you walked ooh, you walked away from something here. Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups together. You did walk away from something. Your overall energy is the hangman with the ten of pentacles and the king of pentacles for now i feel like you're very focused on your money capricorn you're focused on manifesting abundance in your life okay making good money um now i'm um, <laughs> What I'm really getting Capricorn here is that there's something that you have decided to let go of. There is something that you have decided to release perhaps from your energy. Okay. Um, with the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords together, something was mentally keeping you stuck. And you walked away here. <clears throat> I feel like um, Capricorn, you were showing up for somebody here despite the fact that there were <clears throat> illusions and things being kept in the dark in that relationship, okay? <clears throat> With the Eight of Swords energy, I'm really seeing that something here was keeping you stuck. Okay. And there's that energy of you feeling like you lost your power in a situation. Okay. But I think the reason why you walked away in the first place is because you felt like it's it's like you didn't know what to do. Okay. Um And you may have even felt like you were losing yourself in a certain situation. Okay, so you left. With the Fool and the Four of Cups energy, Capricorn, I'm, I'm really seeing that something here is encouraging you to move towards a new start. Despite the fact that you are feeling emotionally discontent, there's somebody that you want to be with or there's that energy of... It's, it's, you know, wanting to be in a kind of a relationship where you're willing to offer the kind of love and you're willing to receive it from the other person too, right? So it's like that is missing. And that is creating the sense of emotional discontent for you with the full energy. 
Um, this is a new start that I see you taking that leap of faith towards. Because to me, it looks like you may view a certain situation as nothing is going to come out of it anyway. So why would I boldly pursue this? Okay. Um, you are detaching yourself with the Queen of Swords energy. You are letting go. And I also feel like with the Queen of Swords energy, you're very clear with your intention. Okay. Now, somebody here maybe had a third party situation going on. That's why they left. Um, because I am getting a little bit of that energy. But for others of you, there is somebody here who's wanting to work things out with you again. But the thing is that this person, whoever this is, that you may have decided to distance yourself from, they're seeming to be somebody who is... Mm, who has, you know, maybe another person or they tend to breadcrumb that kind of why i'm getting from them okay we have the queen of wands energy here with the king of wands it almost looks like to me now you're sitting back you have pursued somebody but now you're sitting back because you're wanting for this person to see your worth and it's like you have realized that you know i bring a lot to the table okay and i'm not getting that much back or i didn't get that much back so it's like with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands energy, you're realizing your worth. Okay. With the Page of Cups, the Strength and the Six of Cups energy. I really see somebody wanting to offer you love here, okay? And for the most part, I see you being open to receive it, receiving it. But at the same time, there's a sense of holding back in your energy. I strongly see a past person returning. And I feel like it's not that you don't miss them or it's not that you don't miss the memories. It's, it's like you feel like because you've made that conscious decision to walk away, there's no point looking back. Tell me about the Three of Swords here. What is that here for? Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's almost, it, it's looking like, you know, you're giving up that hope, you know, in that relationship. That this relationship or this situation is going to make me happy. Um, I've been heartbroken, but I'll get over it by myself. It's a very self-sufficient kind of a vibe that I'm getting from you. Um... Honestly, it is coming in because you've been disappointed. What is the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords? Five of Swords. Capricorn, you may have decided to walk away from somebody because of the game playing here. And the mind games and, you know, wanting to win at all cost kind of a vibe. Somebody very manipulative that you walked away from okay and it's like you walked away right now you may not be very sure about where you want to go from now on but i do feel like you're at least making that conscious decision capricorn to let go What is the full card here for with the seven of cups? Yeah, I feel like you're willing to explore. You're willing to open up. Okay, uh, there are other people who will be interested in you. But at the same time, I feel like right now you may be doing a lot of different things in your life as a way to distract yourself from what you're feeling. Mm -mm. You know, trying to be practical about it. So you have a lot going on. You have a lot on your plate. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to try this. I want to try that. What is the Four of Cups? Four of Wands. Ooh, I do feel like it's that desire here. It's that desire. It's like that idea. Okay. Uh, I do not know why is it giving me that vibe. The Four of Cups and the Four of Wands. It's like you wanted to be in a relationship or you were, you really were expecting this harmony, this um, balance. 
with somebody that couldn't be fulfilled and deep down inside you still wish for this kind of a relationship you may not be voicing it out but i feel like it's it's a disappointment here okay you want to be in this kind of a relationship and if not then you know you, you'll be fine single but it's like you know you're wanting to be in a situation where the other person reciprocates and stuff it's a very like I feel like Capricorn, some of you are, oh, this is a very, like, this could be just for some of you, but I'm getting a message. I have to say this. Some of you are getting tired of always showing your strong side. That's why, you know, this is the idea that you have in your mind, but you're not really, you know, it's not, you know, it, it, this is not something that you're acting, acting upon, you know, day to day, but this is something in the back of your mind, I believe. Okay, but on the outside with the Queen of Swords energy, you're acting like it's 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 all good. What is the Knight of Wands? I feel like there's some work related stuff here that you're focused on investing, um, it, you know, some business or something like that that I see you very focused on. Yeah, independence. With the nine of pentacles and the four of pentacles saving money investing money your advice here is to go with what you're the most passionate about and i do see progress in that okay but i also see somebody arriving here seeming to be a little bit like a player queen of pentacles okay so queen of swords uh clarified by the queen of pentacles with the overall energy of the empress you have definitely been through something tough okay um whatever here happened capricorn it was to it was almost like a wake-up call for you okay i see you in a very stable energy wanting to focus on your worth your balance your life your clarity of mind what's the queen of wands and as far as the queen of wands is concerned i'm getting this to be the why where I feel like Capricorn, this is that energy where you're not going to be chasing somebody, okay? You're done chasing. So maybe you're wanting for the other person to come forward and pursue you now. But because this is something that you're turning your back to, you're turning your back to a situation that was very, very, I'd say... almost like manipulative and you know there were illusions there were like false promises in a situation and i feel like something was revealed to you here what is the page of cups the strength and the six of cups as far as what i see here i see somebody approaching you but it's like you do not want to take those crumbs anymore. You are this queen of pentacles, queen of swords, and you don't want no page of cups here. You want your king of pentacles kind of a vibe. That's why it's, I feel like there's a lot of that back and forth in the energy. But I feel like you're, you, you think that I'm better off focusing on myself than giving somebody else a chance who has already, who, you know, this person has already broken my heart, so... What is the advice? Eight of Wands and the Magician. Big changes ahead for you, Capricorn. You're manifesting something big for yourself. And that has been coming up in a lot of your readings. Mm -hmm. Do check out the link in the description box, Capricorn. It will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with how are they thinking feeling about you 
their next moves i'll come by love notes guidance from spirit and any other messages that you may need okay what do we have for capricorn your future love and the person on your mind okay twin flame energy yeah look at that keys on a ring and mask somebody was not showing you their true feelings and they had other options what is the twin flame energy seduction attraction flirting yeah i keep getting that you maybe you met somebody through work but I really keep getting a vibe here of somebody being very manipulative. Yeah, addiction, healing heart, the love call. Heart with a key, welcoming love. So I really feel like once, because you know, right now you are letting go of something and you're healing yourself, you're healing your heart, Capricorn. And there's that love call here. Somebody's going to be contacting you. Someone expresses love, message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. You see? So I'm getting two different energies here. Okay, we'll take you. Oh, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Mm hmm Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So it's, it's almost like you're being told to walk away from something toxic, but at the same time, not close off to love completely. <clears throat> what do we have for Capricorn? It's time to take action and you are good enough. <clears throat> Surrender to the divine. Again, you are being told here to take action towards something. And the you are good enough card is kind of like encouraging you to <clears throat> believe in yourself. You see? And surrender to the divine. What's not in your control, just let it go. Something about self-love is what this reading is emphasizing on, okay? That's about it, Capricorn. Those were the messages that I popped out for you. Do give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if this resonated with you. You can check out the extended link below to find out how's your person thinking, feeling, what is their next move, where's their relationship going, your future love situation, as well as guidance from spirit. So do check it out. It will be linked below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Take care, Capricorn, and bye-bye.